Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be creating this logo design using PageLab application. PageLab is my favorite logo maker too, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a logo with it. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do as usual is to open PageLab application, and once you've opened the application, then the first step we're going to do is to create a circle shape we take radius to 100% and we're going to change the color to black all right then once we've done that we make a copy of the circle shape we change this one here to white so we click on color and we click enable then change the color to white so once we've done that we reduce this circle here a little and put it in the middle all right after we've done this we're going to join the two circles together then we are going to click on erase color to remove the white part so click enabled and we increase this a little to 20 and that's all so after we've done that we increase this and put it in the middle all right so once we've done that we're going to create another shape we're going to create a triangle shape all right we change the color to black and we'll also add stroke to it all right once we have done that we increase this a little and turn it upside down Okay, right so once we have done that we're going to create two letters out of this um, triangle shape so the next thing we're going to do now is to create another triangle right we turn it upside down and we use it a little All right, so after we've done that, the next one I'm going to do is to create another shape. Okay, so after we've placed it there, the next we're going to do is make a copy of it. But this time around, we'll change this to black. Okay, 
all right so after we've done that create another shape and we're just going to reduce this and change the color to black okay So after we have done that, so the next thing we are going to do now is create another shape. We are going to be using several shapes to create the two letters we want. Alright, once we've done that again, we create another shape. Alright, then once you've done that, we create another copy of this sh shape there. Alright, once we have done that, what we're going to do now is to create another shape and place it Okay, then we'll create another shape again. So once we have done that, make a copy of this shape here, right, then we are going to reduce it,
all right so we're done what we're going to do now is to join everything together so we go not with the text so click ok then once we've done that we're going to go to erase color we click enabled and we just drag tolerance to 30 and smooth edges to 1 then after we've done that in order to add texture to it we, click, we create a shape reduce the opacity then join it together with the logo all right then we add our texture the texture i'm using you can go to the video description there will be a link to download it there Then once we've done that, we click on our 3D shape, we click enabled, take, we take the depth to 5, increase the darken to 70%, then we're going to scroll down and increase the shadow to 13. all right once we done that we'll go to shadow we click enabled okay then we click on mbox we click enabled we take bevel to one ambient light 100 specular hardness we take it to 25 then intensity we leave it at then we just click OK so once we've done that we change our image size to YouTube thumbnail and we put this in the middle all right then the next we're going to do now is to add our background we click on this here and click from gallery so then we click on this icon here and click on vignette click enabled we take this to 70 then brightness we're going to reduce it to 20 and we click on saturation I click take it to 20 and then we we'll click OK. So yeah, that's all. I hope the video was helpful. If the video was helpful, please help me out by giving a like right now and also share with the song you find where you may find the video helpful. And if you're new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, please help me out by subscribing right now so you can see more videos like this. And then once we have done with everything, we just click on this save icon here take this to ultra then you click save to gallery and then to be saved on your phone thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next video